car is even damaged. damaged. My car is damaged. Is where? Is right your... here. If you want to see, you can oh, come over. Oh, shit. To... Why are you hitting my car, lady? Because it's not damaged. You bitch. Would you tell her to get away from me? She's crazy. You know, just took, you know, took me to, you know. And... It's not damaged. I mean, usually what you're supposed to do you're, you're in an accident yeah. is we exchange information. You bitch. Is she driving away? Have we let him? Yeah. Huh? I got it now. She just drove away. Well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber driver is here, guys. That's right. Thank you. You far too kind. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on. Let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, Party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? It is the end of Black History Month. And I'm starting to get a little suspicion that some black folks are starting to wake up to what's going on. We have, we have a lot of examples of people starting to, their eyes are starting to awaken. They are finally woke. <laughs> They finally see what's going on with the Democrat Party and how they've been used and abused for the last 30, 40, 50 years. And there's a lot of examples of 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 discourse. Uh, to my black people here, this is disgraceful. This is Black History Month. And I see some of our beautiful ladies having on these African garments. Uh, you don't show your blackness by how you dress. You show your blackness of how you vote. And some of you voted for sanctuary. If anybody needs sanctuary, black people need it. Now this, uh, over here, they very disrespectful. Michelle Harris and all, I'm just talking while I'm talking. Uh, uh, we, they are part of the problem. The black people have issues because you have poor black leadership. And Reverend Woo Woo got somebody up here praying for us. Just pray your way off this plantation. Pray your way into reparation. This is disgraceful. No boycott, no black, uh, empty seats of black people. When you, it was packed with these illegal immigrants and packed with these white Jews and white Arabs. Where are the black people? The ancestors hate you. They never knew that you were going to turn out like you are and do what you're doing. You're disgraceful. The miseducation of the black man, Carter G. Woodson said, the miseducation of the black man. And what kind of man did they make on the plantation? Use your imagination. It start with an end. We got to purge ourselves of that and become strong black men and women. You got no representation. Black faces in high places, but no representation. It's sad. Look at here. This place should be packed with black people. You have no pride. You're disgraceful. You to the ancestors. Yeah, yeah, look at Brandon Johnson looking scared this guy i don't know man every city town hall meeting they have out there he just stand there he don't he don't rebuke nothing he just sit there and take it and man he must be something tough man i don't know what his wife looked like or you know his wife must be a battle axe he probably used to this but man they be going at him that's what's up 
That's what has happened in the United States right now. All this asylum seeking lie, all this about refugees, no, no, no. What's happening is they're emptying out the dregs of their jails into the United States, into our communities. They're junking up our country. And yeah, we feel some kind of way about it because it's our country. It's our country. Vasquez, Lopez, all of them want their people to be, dis to be respected, but they can't even give us the dignity for what we built for them. Ain't no question about it. Yeah, Black History Month, the American descendants of slavery. And I want you to know, Brandon Johnson, I understand what Blakemore's saying about we still on the plantation, but what you looking at right now, this is what a free Negro look like. And I'm telling you, we're going to get our city back. We're going to stand for our people. We're going to get them out of our communities because they don't deserve to be there. Anytime they can't give us three lousy minutes of their attention while we sit here and watch y'all get them all kind of money, you watch us. We black out here, and we're going to handle our business. You watch that. I'm a free black woman. This is how we get down. Ooh, boy, she's a strong black woman. She's black. Black power. <laughs> she's starting to get it. A lot of New Yorkers are starting to get it. Milwaukee. Yeah, y'all starting to get it. Philadelphia, y'all starting to get it now, right? That you don't owe Democrats nothing, and they really don't owe you nothing either. Remember what? Biden said the other day, he got on stage and proudly said that you people are the one who are responsible for getting him in office. And especially for those moments when this campaign was at its lowest ebb, the African-American community stood up again for me. You've always had my back and I'll have yours. And this community is the reason why I'm standing here. This community. And everybody clapping, cheered. You are the one who is responsible for getting him into office. And you still got that power to get him out of office. And how are you going to do that? You vote with your feet. Right? Do something different. Don't go with the same old, same old, because you're going to get the same results. That is insanity. About 86 million Hispanics coming into the United States and about 41 million Asians by that point in time, mm -hmm. which is going to kick black folk out of being the majority minority in the society, mm -hmm. uh, down to a minority minority. We've been number two in the society for 400 years as a group. We're going to become number four. And, uh, and if we have not gotten anything after being number two for 400 years, you guess what's going to happen when we become number four. Because at that point in time, all the new groups coming into America, they're coming in higher than we are because this country operates off of a preferential acceptance program, mm -hmm. which means that groups are coming in based on skin color, they're going from the lightest down to the darkest, light, yellow, brown, black. And that's what our immigration laws are based on. And now we have uh, um, Mayor Adams. He's kind of reneging on the credit card uh, situation in New York not going to see some of those draconian steps that we were going to have to take that will get in the way of the cleanliness and the safety of our city. So you say it's good news? It's great news. Uh, Mayor Adams great news. says New Yorkers should feel relieved after two rounds of punishing budget cuts to all but the most essential city services. The budget is stabilizing and a planned third round will no longer be necessary. <laughs> well, that's my thought for the day. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. All right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you illegal aliens, get off my lawn.